The same application will probably call for a different look and feel when the platform varies. So this schedule of a Genexus users meeting shows differences in design. Even without changing the platform, we may want to associate a particular design with an application developed for a specific client, and a different design for the same application but for a different client. In order to separate the design aspects from those related to functionality, so that we may keep the tasks parallel and leave the design to the specialists as we focus on our duty as developers in building the application, we relate the layout controls to different classes, and there are also theme objects for concentrating the design specifications of each of those classes. Therefore, we can assign one of these four classes that are configured in a central location, in this case for this platform, to an attribute control. The centralized location is the theme object. By default, in addition to the default theme for the web application, we have three themes for smart devices, one for each platform. The properties of each class, control, user, and so on, are configured in each theme. For instance, Supposing we want the property name attribute to appear in bold and yellow in Android. What we do is... We open the default theme for Android. Let's create a new class of attribute. Called yellow attribute. We then set the four color property to yellow and the label class as text block title, which corresponds to this other class to which we set a bold font. We now go to the layout of the view for Android. where we change the property name attribute class and relate it to the new one. We execute. But where do we configure the theme to be used? The answer is in preferences. The default general values of all instances of the work with pattern for smart devices are centralized here. Themes are among the things we can configure. The theme we've just modified is configured in the any Android platform. On the other hand, Blackberry has, and iOS has the theme we mentioned in the third place. We may modify the theme in each case. The precedents are the usual ones. If we generate for iPad because it does not have a defined theme, it will use that of any iOS.